Let us see the default control settings or user inputs in detail. Under default control, the first setting that we are going to study is base size. What is the base size? It is a characteristic size used in mesh generation. All other values can be set relative to this size. Target size is the desired edge length. What do we mean by minimum maximum size? When proximity or curvature refinements are turned on, these processes are controlled through the lower and upper bounds of the surface cell size. The next setting under default control is the volume meshing setting. Under this comes the mesh density or volume growth rate. This controls the rate at which mesh density changes. Then there are prism layer controls. In this we give the thickness, number of prism layers and stretching ratio. Whatever we saw till now were the default controls. Now if we need to further produce any changes in the mesh size and density we need to use custom controls. Using custom controls we can generate refinement for surfaces or boundaries can be specified. There are two methods to introduce custom control depending upon which meshing method we use. If we are using part based meshing we have to define a custom control, add all affected surfaces, specify controls and values. If we are using region based meshing, edit each boundary separately or using multi edit. Specify mesh conditions and mesh values. Let us see custom controls for PBM. Default controls for PBM can be specified at automated mesh than default controls. Similarly, we can specify custom control there by going to automated mesh and then introduce custom controls. The custom controls can be given for part, surface and curve. When custom mesh conditions are used, the values are stored in the local mesh values folder. Custom settings override those given in the default control. Let us see reference values settings for region based meshing. Reference values for RBM can be specified by going to mesh continuum then reference values. These can be given for regions, boundaries, feature curves and interfaces. When local mesh conditions are used, the values are stored in the local mesh values folder. Local settings override those given at the continuum level. There is another concept related to meshing in Star CCM Plus which is known as pipeline meshing. Pipeline meshing is a meshing process or strategy which allows you to change geometry, mesh type, refinement, location or number of prism layers. It will automatically update the mesh and map the old solution. You can also rapidly evaluate multiple designs. This example shows the baseline of a car without mirror which is then remeshed with the mirror. Please note if solution exists the solution is automatically mapped as part of the process. After meshing process let us focus on the result of meshing process which are mesh cells. The first thing we should notice about mesh cells is that they are valid for CFD calculation. Do they pass the CFD quality check if they can say so? Cells which do not satisfy these quality checks or criteria are known as poor quality cells. How do we see or view such poor quality cells? You can create a threshold to visualize the poor quality cells. 
threshold means some limit which is or is not qualified by the mesh cell. It is like a quality assurance. For introducing threshold, open a scene displaying your geometry. Right click derive parts, then new part and then threshold. In input parts, select the domains that you want to check. In Scala, select cell quality. Set the extraction mode as all below and the threshold value. Create a new geometry displayer. Perfect cell has a quality of 1 whereas a degenerate cell has a quality approaching 0. Poor cell quality is likely to affect both the robustness and accuracy of the solution.